Well, good morning, and day two of my landscape photography tour of New Zealand, South Island. I've just moved round from the other side of the car into the shade because it's getting quite hot. We are in summer here, and um, I didn't really want to put sun cream on myself just yet. I want to have some breakfast and stuff, and while I'm doing that, I'm just backing up all my my digital equipment. I've got a GFX, I've got a drone, and I've got two GoPros. And over the two weeks, um, I'm going to be backing them up on my iPad to a um, external hard drive. I need to think about what I'm going to do today. I want to head towards the mountains, we're going to head towards Mount Cook, but I've been checking the weather and tomorrow there's a storm moving through, thunderstorm with heavy rain moving through Mount Cook, so I don't really want to be there for that. So we'll probably just move south towards Mount Cook and find somewhere to camp, see if we can take any photos on the way. There is a salt lake just here that we can have a look at. Hopefully there's some nice colours. Hopefully we can take some photos, maybe with the GFX and the drone. So it could be quite an interesting day. We're going to be going off road today, I think, a little bit. Have a look around in, in the back country of New Zealand, South Island. Quite excited about that. So yeah, for now, just going to have some breakfast. Today we're on Radax Nutrition. Not sponsored by them in any way, but Radax, if you're watching this, maybe you want to sponsor me. <laughs> because I use your products a lot. I definitely believe in these. These are really good, really good freeze-dried meals. And they don't put any preservatives in, in their meals. It's just all natural. And this one is a plant-based mixed berry breakfast. And I'm going to enjoy it very much. With a nice cup of tea. How inviting that water look. You know, I don't have a shower in my vehicle, so there's only one thing I've got to do now is go in that water and enjoy it. So I'm just waiting for some clothes to dry. And uh, when I was on the beach before, when I was having a, a morning bath, I noticed that there were some quite nice, interesting waves just lapping against the beach there. Some quite nice curvy shapes and the sand's really black. In fact, it's like a, it's like a pebble beach, but the, the stones are really fine. And there's some quite nice headlands just around. We're in a bit of a cove here. So while I'm waiting for my clothes to dry, we're gonna go and do some long exposure black and white photography. I'm just gonna get my tripod. cool. Every now and again there's a really big wave that comes up and it in little sections it comes up more the beach than in other sections and it's creating these curves. So I'm just monitoring the, the waves here. I think there's a big one coming now. And because there's high points the beach is kind of it's a bit wavy so the water comes up in the low points just like that. So that's what I want to try and capture. I'm going to get set up. So because of how big these waves are, I'm actually going to set my camera up away from the ocean. And then once I've got my camera ready on my tripod, I'll put my camera back, back on my back. And then that will remove any, any chance of a wave, big wave coming up and getting my bag if I leave it on the floor. So we've got the GFX 50S2 and we've got the 45 to 100. And we are going to put in... So it's quite bright at the minute, so I'm going to put both my ND filters on. just need to give these a bit of a wipe. It's always handy to keep these microfiber cloths in your bag. I always keep two just in case one gets wet when it rains. So there we go, we've got nine stops of ND on there now. 
We can change that as we go, but we will see what happens. So, we're ready to go. I'm gonna leave you up on the beach, out of where the water is. I don't want you getting washed away in the ocean. So yeah, let's, get, let's do this. Let's get some, let's make some long exposures. Hopefully. Normally when I do these seascapes, I think a shutter speed of half a second or a second works quite well. We're gonna move closer to the water. There we go. Oh, it's sublime. I absolutely love it. It's just so minimal and high contrast, black and white, I love it. Amazing. Those waves are awesome. And those photos on the preview on the back of this GFX with Fiesta 2 then were looking amazing. They were sublime, minimal, high contrast black and white. And I absolutely love that. And you know, it's 11 o'clock in the morning now. The sun's well up, blue sky, and some beautiful clouds up there. We had a bit of symmetry going on with a diagonal line through the foreground and the diagonal line in the, in the sky there with the cloud. So I will select the best photos. I only really worked one composition, but with the waves, um, because it's so dynamic, each image will have its own characteristic. So give me some comments and we will continue this day, see what else we find. What a beautiful place this is. And you know, it's one of those places that you can blink and you'll miss it. The state highway runs right by it, but you only see a glimpse of it. It's not until you actually look at a map and you see how extensive this place is. And it's a place that's difficult to photograph. I was having a bit of a drive around and see if I can get my Fujifilm GFX 50S2 on it with a long lens, but there's nowhere high enough. So the only way to appreciate a place like this is with a, with a drone. So, I hope you enjoy the photos, give me some comments.
Wow. My God, this ocean is looking incredible today. Look at the colors. This is Kaikoura in New Zealand. And you may remember a few years ago, maybe five years ago now, I can't remember the exact date. There was a huge earthquake that devastated this area and actually took out the road that we were just driving on. And that earthquake changed the landscape around here significantly. And um, a lot of the seabed rose out near the ocean. I'm going to try and get a photo of this ocean, see if we can capture these colours. We'll do a quick one, eh? What an amazing place. The power of those waves is incredible. I didn't realise how big they were until I got down there, but they are huge waves. And it's a really steep drop off on that beach, wow. Must be great for surfers here, and the colours are amazing. I hope the Fujifilm GFX with FS2 did a great job of capturing that then. I'll show some photos, give me some comments, and we will continue this drive. So what a day it's been, pretty much driven from the top of the South Highland all the way down past Christchurch and now we're heading into the mountains where there's a tiny little lake where I'm hoping we're going to get some awesome sunset views, sunset colours, reflections, everything. I'm hoping for everything. I'm just, I just can't wait to get there. But we are racing against time a little bit. Um, we're about an hour away, sunset's in an hour and a half. I don't have a composition figured out. Um, I know there's a campsite up there, so I know we're good somewhere to stay. But yeah, now we're just motoring on down this road and uh, hopefully we're going to get there in time and find a composition. Look at that for a view. How beautiful is that? We are deep in the heart of Canterbury's Alpine region. It's peaceful, it's quiet, just the sounds of nature. And there's this beautiful lake with these beautiful mountains and the sun is starting to set. As you can see in the water here, there's a little bit of chop out there. Far out there, there is a little, tiny little bit of breeze, just a whisper. And I'm hoping as the sun goes down, that'll stop, that'll just go away and we'll be revealing this beautiful reflection. So I'm just going to go in the water here and take some reflection photos. So this is our first composition, it's a nice easy one. We've got the 45 to 100 millimeter lens on here. And yeah, we are just focusing on the mountains, F11. We've got an aperture priority, no exposure compensation, Astia Soft is the colour profile. I've got a polarizer on here as well. So we are just going to adjust this polarizer. There we go. I'm just going to add, I'm going to go two thirds exposure compensation, and here we go. Beautiful reflection, nice and simple. Just getting warmed up to the landscape around us and the subject.
So we have got a polarizer on this one. I took one with the polarizer and one without the polarizer. I'll put them both up, let me know what you think. Um, I just think that the polarizer really darkens um, the photo on one side. Nevertheless, I really do think this is a beautiful photo. And now we've got this kind of curve happening. It's quite a nice cloud here. So I'm gonna put the wide angle lens on now and get this one. So this is the photo I've just taken with my 30 millimeter lens and I really love this. It's just kind of got this circle in the foreground here. So if you just, sorry, excuse my blurred fingers. Nice curve here, curve in the sky. I just think it is absolutely beautiful. This is a very comfortable seat with an incredible view. The mosquitoes are coming out, <laughs> as well as the sand flies, they've already been biting my feet. Well, if that's all I've got to complain about here then. I'm very, very lucky. Wow. Didn't get the twilight though. A bit disappointed about that, but not really sure why, but nevertheless. I'm very happy with the two photos, the reflections, the one here that was like a circle and the, the other one with, um, it was like a V shape, a side, you know, a side on V. Um, I'll put them up for you to see. They were my favourite photos, I think, from this evening's photo shoot. So that's it for today's video. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been a bit of a trip, a bit of a journey, a bit of adventure. We've travelled some distance pretty much from the top of the South Island all the way down to the middle and tomorrow we will make our way towards Mount Cook through Lake Takapo perhaps try and do a bit of off-roading somewhere and um, a bit of exploring see where it takes us so yeah so thanks for tuning in and give us some comments on the on the photos and subscribe and like it buy my merchandise go buy a print Thanks. See you again next time. See you tomorrow. Bye for now.